Hey guys, it's Becky and today I'm coming to do an unboxing because the other day I was really sad so I did some retail therapy and I was looking, I've been looking at some books from Folio Society for probably over a year now and I really really wanted them, I just couldn't justify paying for them. This month I got my bonus so I decided to treat myself and I got all the books that I've been looking to get. Um, in kind of a really big order that I'm kind of regretting a little bit now, but here's uh, what I bought. Okay, so there was a lot of paper and kind of packing stuff in these boxes, so I just took them all out, um, which you could probably see here. Um, but I'm going to take you through what each of them are. So the first book I got was the Lord of the Rings uh, Folio Society uh, Special Edition. Um, it comes all packaged up, so if you are buying it, um, I think even if you're buying it from overseas, the packaging is so well done in that it probably wouldn't get damaged, and I can't even get into it, so it's really well done. Okay, I'm just ripping into it now. So it comes in a kind of very sturdy um, red Lord of the Rings um, branded up box not too dissimilar to many other book boxes and then we get on to the books um so they come in this really pretty green swirl design um on the front there is mount doom this is the last book so let's get to the first one first up is fellowship of the ring um which has i think Ar aragorn on his horse um, really beautiful editions, maps in the front just like most of the other editions, and in the back there too. And then the sunlight is coming through really, really nicely um, there to show off the book. And that's exactly the same for all of them I think. And they fit quite, not too tightly in the box set as well, which hopefully will reduce any wear and tear on the box and the books as well. Next up is I got the uh, Game of Thrones George R. R. Martin Folio Society Edition. These are really expensive, so I'm really looking forward to what. Um, I'm going to try not to damage it. Aye. There you go. Um, these were really beautifully covered editions. Uh, I've only ever read George R. R. Martin in paperback form. Um, these are particularly heavy. I understand why they've been put into two books. So let's have a quick look through. So one of the things about these is that they have like beautiful artwork on the box as well. Um, so this is the Baratheon sigils here. And then inside there is some artwork too. I'm not sure if the camera is really picking that up well. Oh. But I'll try and do some close-ups uh, later and overlay it if it wasn't working. So first up is it comes with this tiny little book as well, The Known World. And this kind of gives a whole is it, I'm not going to take this out fully right now I'm gonna do an 
a shot of it a bit later probably um but it is the map of a uh, kind of well the known world in the story um i will show you that in a bit later and then the addition are these really gorgeously painted front covers um so there's the dire wolf there's the stag and the lion um and the crow as well symbolizing all our different characters and we open it up to really beautifully decorated everything there's illustrations in here and it's just a really beautiful addition and there's lots of different uh, headings I just missed an illustration as well but if you want to see more of these do let me know and I can do like full slip throughs of exactly what these books look like um, and I'll do a quick quick scan of this one we always seem to be stopping on Aria's chapters <laughs> and there's the front as well Then similar to the Lord of the Rings box set, these boxes are um, not too tight, but also not too loose. So I don't feel like there's any breakage of the box or the books whenever I'm using them, like some of the cheaper ones. Then I'm going to show these off together because they're going to be pretty similar. I also got a Clash of Kings and the A Storm of Swords. Um, so they also come with these uh, beautiful box sets, all kind of matching to the Game of Thrones ones um, with kind of these symbol sigils. We will carefully open these both up and show you what's inside. And I think, I don't know if you can catch that on camera, but the sunlight's coming right through. Um, and they are like a dark blue uh, colour, these cloth bound books. Um, but they do have kind of a reddish tint um, underneath, which you can really see when the sun shines on it. Let me see if it just, hopefully that does kind of show in the sunlight um although you're probably also getting a lot of my hair at the same time um but they're just really well bound editions and I can get into this one <laughs> so yeah, let's um push that to the slide oh so you can see there that's my Sandro um a very beautiful artwork in there again if you can't see that i will be posting a little bit of an overlay somewhere and then for um a clash of kings the two pieces of artwork are the uh kind of kraken and the direwolf which is the grey droids and starks and then it's um Stag versus Stag, so Renly versus uh, Stannis as well. Uh, kind of mirroring what's happening in the books, um, if I remember correctly. <laughs> um, and I think, yeah, I'll just tuck through. I'm assuming they're all very similar inside. Yeah, they have kind of the banners at the front. There's all the chapters, there's illustrations. Each, each heading has a different illustration. And then there's full illustrations throughout as well. And this box is a little bit tighter than the others, um, but the books are slightly bigger as well. Um, and then you can see in there, there's, I think, I'm not sure, I'm a bit blocked. So yeah, 
I'm hoping you liked all of these. I think the camera cut off just before I finished uh, Storm of Swords. Uh, but what I said at the end there was if you want to see more of what's in these books, just let me know. I'm happy to do full slip throughs like I've done with previous special editions of Lord of the Rings. And I will hopefully see you again soon.